<laughs> yeah. But hey, I was going to ask you, all your friends are retiring, right? You are guys they? are still going <laughs> strong. No, like, I'm not saying you retired. We like you being here. No, no. There, I, like I retired you being here. myself. No, you guys, like, stay here. But, like, with all your friends retiring, they're all saying, doing, you know, oh, we want to do side projects now. I want to do side projects now. Yeah, I think I'm going to do side projects now. Why don't you guys make another pig face album? Um, well, I think I think I think um, Martin has another pig face album in the in the can. That's mm -hmm. from what I've heard. Yeah. Are you gonna well, be involved with it? Not that long ago. Oh, was that the one? Was that it? Uh, yeah, I've, well, I'm sure he's working on a new one already. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you get involved with it? Get yeah. Genesis in on that. I mean, I'm kind of you know I have Ogre and and and, and I have uh, I have this and and uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know I'm I'm trying to you know kind of do some more film stuff when I can and, and I'm having fun doing that so you did that movie with Paris Hilton yeah I yeah did, yeah then the Sarah I did, Brightman I did Repo the Genetic Opera mm -hmm. and then uh, I have a new film coming out um, with Bill Mosley again who's, uh, who's in Devil's Rejects and um, Repo mm -hmm. and uh was the original Chop Top from Te Texas Chainsaw 2. It's uh, it's uh, the sequel to Tim Sullivan's remake of 2000 Maniacs, Herschel really? B. Gordon Lewis, which again deals with racism in the South. It's uh, I don't know, have you ever heard the story? It's a it's a town wow. called Pleasantville in in, uh, in Georgia, which oh, okay, okay, okay. Which when it was going along fine with slavery until the the Civil War happened and the, the Northerners came down and slaughtered them all. Well, that sucks. So there's two thousand of them in the city, and so every year they rise up and go after Northerners, and in this case they. Uh, They've been kicked out of Pleasantville because the sheriff uh, thinks that they've been eating too many tourists, and so we roll the sheriff down the hill in a barrel full of nails, and we we head out of town on on the road, and we end up setting up shop in uh, in Iowa, and uh, and that's why it's called Field of Screams, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, we end up meeting this this group of travelers based loosely on surprisingly enough. Nicole Ritchie and Paris Hilton, these <laughs> debutantes from uh, from Beverly Hills, who are doing a reality show called Road Rascals, and they're looking for uh, the South and Hicks from the South to blend into and, and film them contrasting, and they run into us, so we embrace them as as uh, as uh, food and uh, and slaughter them for the rest of the show. That's fun, like wicked. Yeah. Film's fun, eh? I really enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. In this case, uh, you know, I got to play a Southern. Uh, a southern, uh, you know, a, a soldier in a way. I mean, but a, a, kind of a dandy in a way. I was kind of frilly. I wanted to have petticoats. I wanted to be a cross dresser, but uh, I ended up having this frilly kind of coat and kind of a dandy. And uh, am uh, Bill Mosley's sidekick again in the whole thing. Mayor Buckman. He's playing Mayor Buckman, who was played by Robert England in the first film. So, mm. so that's coming out. I think in uh, January they're going to AFM. But yeah, I love I love doing film. So. Yeah, I recently actually that's my forte. I'm involved in film. I actually directed my first commercial. Congratulations! Uh, Thank you very much. Damn. It was a uh, PSA for Theater BC across all the pro all the province. Uh, they have different theater troops, and they'll get together in one centralized location and do nice. one big show. So that was my first one, and I'm doing my second one after like fucking waiting, waiting and waiting. It is. Waiting. It's hurry up and wait. Oh yeah, eh? yeah. We're not getting paid, of course, <laughs> but um, it's for Headlines Theater. They're doing a thing with like uh, to promote like after homelessness and oh, the cool. transition process happening and bring awareness to that. We're actually shooting on Thursday and Friday, and actually I had to talk to Malice here at the rickshaw to see if we could get one shot, just one insert of like an opening door from the back end. Oh cool. Play. Are you gonna do it? So. I have to call out in Junkie to Alley there. First. Exactly, because one of our shots. I was so happy to see alley. those little rig collectors back uh -huh. there in the alley. Yeah, when did they put those in? I have no idea. I mean, it's probably, I guess, a project of the Needle Exchange or something. Yeah, well, that that place uh, saved my life. I mean, you know, really? I, yeah, when I was uh, when I was here, I think if it wasn't for that place, I'd probably be um, very sick right now or dead. And they so, do do a lot of good work. So out. when I saw those little things, I noticed on the ground there's wrappers and there's caps, but yeah, I didn't see any syringes. And I think that's a really good program. You know, I think it's mm -hmm. an incredible program. You wouldn't see it in Russia. No. <laughs> <laughs> they let them die. Have you been subhumans? You've been to Russia? No, I watched a documentary though on uh, on heroin addiction and, and HIV um, um, in in Russia and how it's just this looming um, this looming catastrophe because basically all the prostitutes there they aren't checked and there's no needle exchanges and uh, the way the health system looks at it is that if if a person doesn't want help and they're doing drugs and they get HIV then they deserve to die. That's that bottom line. They deserve to die. Uh, and, and so there's there's a there's a ongoing kind of there's there's people that are you know um, statisticians that are looking at it and going there's this wave there's this wave of tidal wave of, of uh, HIV cases and full blown AIDS cases that are going to appear very soon in Russia 
because of the um, you know the the, the, the prostitutes and, and, the, and the fact that uh, they they don't understand very much about HIV. They don't educate. They don't do anything. And so that tying in with the needle exchange. There is a needle exchange program over there trying to start, but it's met with a great deal of resistance in the same not in, a, in a different way than even even met here. But ha being a hair club member, I have to say <laughs> that it it, uh, it it probably saved my life. You know. And, I mean, I don't think I'm the best person in the world, but I'm not a scumbag either. And so I think there's a lot. You're not of a scumbag. Don't worry about that. <laughs> no. You make a lot of difference in the world, actually, and you inspire a lot of people just well, to be thank themselves you, sir. and to mm -hmm. be sincere to who they are. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, fuck! I'm wearing lipstick right now, motherfuckers. Yeah. I wouldn't be if I wasn't coming to a skinny puppy concert. I wouldn't be, right? That's good. <laughs> good. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Uh, I'm gonna interview this lady, then I gotta go meet my friends. Awesome, okay. You take care. Everyone, Foreskin Radio, www.foreskinradio.com. Oh, this see, is I scared him. Do you see that? Yeah, I just made him stutter. That just, yeah, conk, <laughs> conk, conk. He lost his, lost his shit. Talk, 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 talk. Tell, no, I can't even talk. Tell uh, the motherfuckers up in this bitch about your. Where to find skinny Websites, puppy. how to find Skinny Puppy. Uh, right now, well, Skinny Puppy is uh, on, on litany.net, uh, L-I-T-A-N-Y dot N-E-T. And uh, if you want something really interesting, go to who do I have to fuck dot com, which is, uh, it's not who I have to fuck, it's, it's just the first letter, so it'd be W D D W D I H F. Yeah, there you go. T F. .com, T F dot com. What is it again? W H who do no W D who do I W D I half a W D I H T F W D I H T F dot com and uh, explore. <laughs> it's a new ogre thing, but it's uh, it's based around an Oliver typewriter and who do I have to fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you take care, people. <laughs> Look that shit up. All right. Okay. Bye bye. Thanks, man.